Hello. I apologize for the delay in starting the stream. Um I but I just so I just got home from work. My ride insisted on stopping for groceries on the way. Took like a two minute shower. Just finished um eating supper, so supper slash lunch. So I figured you guys didn't want to hear that ASMR into the mic for the first like five minutes of the stream, so I just waited a couple minutes to Start the stream. Okay, so off stream, I caught Helpy, the Rotom. He is at level 24. Unfortunately, he doesn't learn a ghost type move, which is Ominous Wind, until uh, level 29, so he won't be too much help against the ghost type gym. He wouldn't be too much help anyway because he's a ghost type himself. Um, we don't have anything that's particularly strong against uh, ghost types, but we do have Boyd who um, and Trap, both who are normal types, so any ghost type moves will miss them. So we'll probably use them some. Honestly, we're pretty good. Um, one nice thing about Helpy, as well, is he uh, his ability is levitate. So with this, um, he's only weak to ghost and dark type. <clears throat> Everything else, he's neutral or resistant or doesn't take any damage from. That also means we can pair him up with Bruce. He can use earthquake, and Helpy won't get hit if it's a double battle. So. Most of our team can be paired up with Bruce and his Earthquake. In fact, if we have Discharge on Helpy, we can have Helpy and Bruce, um, both with Helpy with Discharge and Bruce with Earthquake, and they can just annihilate any doubles team. So that'll be fun. Okay. So first things first, we got a... Let me go grab a berry from that guy who gives us a berry every day since we're right here. Also, I think I planted some berries yesterday. Did they grow? Yeah, they're growing. Let's sprinkle some water on them. Some take longer to grow than others.
So yeah, this guy will give you a berry every day, and that's one way to get all of the berries possible. And then you can, uh, oh, I guess we already got one for today, it thinks. Whatever. In any case, maybe I did grab it earlier today. I don't know. I had to uh, train Helpy twice because the first time it glitched out when I was trying to save, so that was unfortunate. Let's uh, walk around though. There's some people we can talk to and stuff. Hello, hello. How, I say, do you do? I'm at the Pokemon Fan Club German. Indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what, I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why, I say, would I do that? Because the giving of Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give the sweet poffin, the Pokemon would eat you, it'd become more cute. For example, spicy po okay. Therefore, I declare this poffin case to be a gift from me to you. Got the poffin case, now we can make poffins, that's nice. I urge you to fill it with poffins and be generous dispensing them to your Pokemon. Again, we'll do more of the contest stuff post-game, when we have um, time to just kind of hang around, we can catch a specific Pokemon, get through all the, you know, different contests that we want. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're healthy. It's warming up to you. That's my impression. Uh, let me ask you about Void then, because we've had Void for a while. It's very friendly to you. I can tell you treat it kindly. Okay, so she just, she doesn't give us anything. She just tells us how they're feeling towards us. Okay, that's good, I guess. Especially since Void has, um, return on it, so. The happier it is with us, the more damage it does. Coffin house. Okay, so that's where you can make coffins. Um, I think this is BB's house. Yep. Oh, hiya. You're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that staunch look? Oh, right. Sorry. There I go running my mouth again. My name's BB. You know, the PC Pokemon boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Sure. Here you go. That Eevee. I got it from a good friend in Johto who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Well, it does, because I've played through the other games, but... Please, be good to it. Would you like to give a nickname? No, let's not. We can hold off until we decide what we want to evolve it into, if anything, later. I mean, there's always Glaceon and uh, Leafeon, I guess. Which are both, uh, new to this region. Okay, so let's deposit the Eevee for now. Oh, I also caught a Routes and a Bee Barrel while I was wandering around. Uh, Bee Barrel for more options for HM moves, because Bee Barrel can learn more HM moves than, uh, Bidoof can. And a male Routes, um, for... What's his, what's his face? Um, Glade later on if we want to get Glade. <laughs> My sisters make so much noise, no one even notices me. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is a lot of responsibility, but it also comes with a lot of fun. I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon po Pokemon coordinator. Okay. Oh, is that like one of those people who do contests, I guess? So is this a house, or is it... It appears to be a series of apartments. Our home is a kind kid-friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Our home is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. Okay. All my grandchildren are clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten up the mood more. Some act kindly in hopes. How uh, could that be a bad thing? Oh no, there's no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. The lack of stairs makes it easier for the little Pokemon to get about. I'm sure it has nothing to do with the grandparents. Okay, got it. So it's like a family living situation. Okay. Interesting. Don't see... Uh, I'd say you don't see too much of that in America, but you do. You do see that. Just not too much. Certainly not the elevator thing. That is very uncommon. Um, what else 
we got here. Hello, random people. You have anything for me? For a contest. Then we have Amity Square. Our room gets visitors from all over, so things have to be nice and clean. People all over the world follow Pokemon contests, which I do. I could captivate the whole world. My shroom is finds berries and things when we go to Amity Square. Oh yeah, Amity Square. I wonder if we have any Pokemon that are allowed to go in there, because they only allow cute Pokemon. I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take the Shell Bell. The Shell Bell should be held by Pokemon in battles. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, we should definitely give that to somebody. Does anybody have a multi-attack? I don't think so. Um... Let's just give it to Bruce, I guess. Oh, do we have anything else we should give to people? Grip Claw? No. Shell Bell. Okay. That's an okay item, I guess. Not as good as leftovers, but... I will take it. This place is beautiful, perhaps even too much so. People, Pokemon, and nature are in perfect harmony here. I can't decide what accessories I should dress up Pokemon with. There are just so many kinds. Alright. I think we put it off long enough. Let's go do the Pokemon contest. Oh! My hero! Oh! Hi, boss! Wait. No! Really? Joanna's your mom? So you might be a contest star! Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Box about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes! That's right! I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. Glitter powder. Okay. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It'll lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we offer also offer practice sessions. I'm good. I've played this game enough. Okay, Joanna. I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Box? I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon are all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. We got a tux. Nice. I'm sure it'll good look, look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contest will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. It's nice that our mom actually has some past. Like, she was actually apparently, like, a contest person. Uh, let's talk to the gym leader, because we have to talk to her either before or after. Yes, I beg your pardon. Oh, we contests are you here for? I hope you very much enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Hardome, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, Therese Fancy? I forgot she was French. Fantina being myself, of course. Hmm, let me see. You also seem to be Tres Strong. Ethan, so it shall be. I will wait for you at the gym. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let me see. So we're going to do at least one, right? So let me see. Cool, okay. A lot of cool. Tough. Cool. Smart. Okay, so we have some cools that we could do, or a tough. Basic, okay. Okay. Okay, those are too good. Okay. 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 Um, neither of those are bad, but none of them are great. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We could probably honestly win with any of them. But 
But these two are nice. The fact that we get to go either way. And then we have return. I don't know if return... Yeah, I think let's go with Boyd. I want to go with Boyd. Uh, we'll do a cool contest. Let me grab my guide a sec on contests. So I know what to put on them depending on the theme. Where did I leave it? Ah, it's over here. It's not on the shelf. It's where I left it. I just pulled out my cord. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, usually I would do pause on this stuff, but um, we can that can wait till later. Like I said, we'll do more of this post game. Um, that way we have like more TMs to work with, like more moves and everything, and all of that. Okay, so where is the contest? Contest, contest, contest. Pokemon contest guide. Okay. Actually, the, apparently, uh, they have recommended ones for each of the different kind of contests. And apparently, Chatta is actually recommended for the cool contest. Uh, raise it to level 33, teach it Taunt and Roost. Taunt earns a lot of hearts, and Roost earns a lot of hearts when voltage high. Yeah. Huh. Taunt, Roost, Pack. Yeah, maybe we'll do that at some point. We could probably go all the way, then, if uh, Chatta... Um, if we get shout out up uh, appeal wise. Anyway, um, where's that guide? There's a different guide. Plus, if we're going to, uh, hey -o. how's it going? We're about to do a Pokemon contest. Um, we'll probably do more of this stuff. There it is. I was just looking at the guide. Okay. That way, when they tell me to dress a certain way uh, during the thing, I can figure it out. I think we're going to go a cool contest with Boyd. Okay. They're going to enter contest? And, yep, you have a Poffin case. Let me gift you with this fabulously wonderful Poffin. Mild Poffin, okay. Feed that pop into a Pokemon you're going to enter at the contest. Oh, and a word of advice. Go take a run at the contest. The best way to get it ready is to get some practice first. You can take a practice session to the counter at the right. Huh, that was nice of him. What does that Poffin do, out of curiosity? Let's move Poffin case. Oh, wrong button. Let's move the Poffin case towards the top here. Same way I did the other stuff. Bicycle should also be towards the top, too. I'm not sure why it's all the way down there. Okay. Poffin case. Open. What do we got? Mild Poffin. Smooth. It seems like it just gives a ba basic um upgrade. So let's give it to Boyd. Okay. Hey, everything went up. And cool went up. Nice. Okay, that was a pretty good poffin, to be honest. Welcome to the contest hall. I can help you with registering for a super contest. Would you like to enter a Pokemon contest? Which ring would you like? Oh. Yes, which rank? Normal rank. And let's do cool. And we will enter Boyd. Okay, your Pokemon has been accepted for entry. Your entry number is four. The contest will start right away. This way, please. Chained into my tuxedo in front of this lady. Box truck chained into the tuxedo. I mean, it's Superman style, so it doesn't matter, right? Right this way, please. Good luck. We are about to get underway with this normal rank Pokemon pool contest. I'm Dexter, and I will be serving as the MC and as, and as one of the judges. The results will be announced at the end, so please bear with me. Let me introduce our contestants. Entry number one, here's Tiffany. Next is entry number two, Connor. Entry number three, Heather. And last time but least, entry number four, Box. Let's begin by having everyone get in proper attire for evaluations. Contestants, dress up your Pokemon for the visual competition. Alright, so what is the competition? 
you have 60. Okay. What is the theme? The natural? Okay. Um, so the natural is... Oh, there it is. White fluff, brown fluff. Okay. So, white fluff, uh, brown fluff. What else? What else we got? Feathers? Are feathers something? No. Um, tree, maybe? I'll put a tree there. I think we don't have much else um, that really fits with this theme. There we go. That looks good. good okay we don't have a lot of accessories so that's not obviously that great but we did the best we could entry number one tiffany okay got a strings ah the brown honor okay flappy Pit. Okay. Pretty average so far. Hopefully we do okay. Nice. Oh, look at those hearts. Okay, we did a lot better than everybody else. First thing. Dance competition. Okay. I think you can use the uh, D-pad with this. So as long as I can use the D-pad, I'll be fine. Otherwise, I get to use the uh, bottom screen. I guess we'll find out in a minute. So jump, jump, left, jump, jump, left. Man, too late. Okay. Right, right. Jump, right, right. How's that a miss? Jump, jump front jump jump front left left front left left front ooh that was tricky up right front now it's our turn got to do it on beat too Yeah, that works. Yep. They like the tree. I guess so. I guess it was the natural. That's it for the dance competition. Leading in the points right now is Box. Yeah. Acting competition. Okay, this is the big bit. This is like the big brain move bit. Okay. Who's going first? We are. Um, let me try a return out first thing. So... Since we're going first. First performance? Yes, it works. Okay. And we have two moves that allow us to go first next round. So that is awesome. Not only does it... um, Not only does it um, allow us to get ahead if somebody is about to uh, be impressed. Like if they have four stars. But it also... Um, allows us to combo with return, which uh, gives us more parts if we go first.
Nice, we were the only one that performed for the central guy. So we're gonna get a plus three. Hey, look at that. Ah, that was a very good round. Very good starting round. Okay, and then let's go uh, double team, I guess. And we'll go for Hiera. So we'll go second because uh, they use quick attack first, if I remember correctly. I think that's how it works. Hmm, I was expecting more people to perform for Kiera, but I guess not. get to perform before Flappy. Okay. Um, so we should probably just pick somebody who's probably not going to get um, played to. So the leftmost guy or the centermost guy? I'm thinking leftmost guy. Nice. We still got more points this round than anybody else. Okay. Except for us. Um, and then let's, since it's the first performance, let's perform for Jordan and we'll do return because we are performing first. Yeah, that's fine. somebody performs another cool move for Kira, she's probably going to, uh, yeah. Her voltage is going to go all the way through, and, uh, the person's going to get a buff. Ah, shoot. Flick is doing, that was a really good turn for Flick. Look at that. Yeah, plus five. That's a really good one for Flick. Dang. Hopefully we have enough of a lead, though, um, in the first two areas. And we're doing pretty good this time, so... So much for Flick this um, round. Anyway, still, we did fairly okay. Mm, this is a really good turn for Flick and Pit. There's only a couple more turns left, too. Okay, this is the last performance. Okay, um, let's just go with wing attack then and we will try and pick somebody who I don't think will get played to and I will pick Kiera because I think people are going to go for the left and middle yeah it doesn't matter because we're nobody's performing next next turn Up. Doesn't matter though. Please don't pick Kira. Yup, I thought so. Looks like we're pretty much in the clear. I think there's one more person to go. 
Because if we're the only person to um, perform for Kira, we will get a bonus of three. Yep. Okay. Nice. Um, I think we ha are in the lead because we had a huge um, lead in the first game. We did pretty well in the second game, and then we had a fairly good run in this area in this part too. Like Pit and uh, Flick had a really good turn last turn. Like Pit especially, but um. No, sorry, Flick really did hit last time, but I think we can definitely do this. Yep. Okay, performance judging is now over. That's it, folks. All judging has been completed. Which Pokemon will be crowned the winner? Let's announce the results. Now let's... Okay. So first up is the dressing up thing. Yep, visual competition. Look at that lead. Ooh, that's a nice solid lead right there. Dance competition. Ooh, Pit did pretty good, apparently. We didn't do so hot. We did better than Flick and Flappy, though. Okay, acting competition. Oh, look at that lead. Oh, wasn't even close. Mm-mm. Heyo, even Flick um, only got a little more than us, I think, for the uh, acting competition there. Congratulations! Let's recognize our winner, Boxes Void. Our winner is awarded the Cool Ribbon. We look forward to your next contest challenge. That won't be for a while, my dude. But when I do come back, I will come back hard and we will get as many ribbons on our main team as we can. Congratulations, here's your prize. Red Beret. Nice. Thank you for participating. We look forward to your next visit. And if we look at Boyd. Ribbons, cool ribbon. Um. Yeah, I want to get as many ribbons as I can on these Pokemon because I plan on bringing them up. So having ribbons on them is nice for later. There's also some fun stuff we can do only in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver too, which are fun. Okay, Emony Square. Yeah, do that some later. Um, the Lural Soul Soulful Dancer. Okay. Um, let's just throw a Boyd up in front, I guess, and then. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to use Helpy. Sorry, Helpy, but uh, you're getting benched for this go-around. You're weak to uh, ghost types. Hey there! How's it going, Jim to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are the usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast a light on one, or they cast a few in the light, the battle's on. Okay, now this is really important. It's about the tiles on the floor. First, find the blue in the room and then memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark. Advance to the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. Choose the wrong red door. You get sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get him, champ to be. Don't worry, I'm just gonna smash through all the trainers anyway, because I want the XP, so. Okay, so. Hey, buddy, what's up? I'll have to reset you, probably. Oh, no, wait, I don't. Hey, now, you're not even this. You're not even close to the door yet. You have to beat me before you can go, you know. Yeah, that was the plan. Funny story, I actually um have all the images of like the badge case there pre like set up already. So when we get the third badge I can transition over to the new image. Um but I had to redo a couple of them because um, I forgot that they're kind of out of order. Like, we'll get that um, Fantina's one right now because you can skip Fantina and come back later if you want, but you can just do her now if you're high enough level. Drifloon, meh, just keep, oh, void.
Well, that's the end of the... Oh, no, I still got some more unsweetened. Unsweetened tea. I need it. I need it. Keep me fresh. I'm going for three hours today. Drifloon is a good Pokemon. Um, it's got an interesting typing of Ghost and Flying. And, um... It's fairly cute in the beginning, and then, like, later on, it looks neat, too. Boo! Did I scare you? This battle will. Like I said on the last stream, I could probably just do a whole flying-type um, playthrough of this game. Right? Like, there's so many good flying types in this game. Flying... I got a pen here. Why am I struggling with this thing? Flying type playthrough. Yeah, I could do a flying type playthrough at some point of this game, just as it is. Like, I could give myself um a what's the first one? Starly. Starly. I could give myself a Starly as a starter, and then just play through this game like that. Because there's so many good flying types in this game. Like, there's uh, Gligar, there's Drifflim, there's uh, Honchkrow, there's... I'm trying to think what else is there. Uh, there's Yan Mega. All of them are, like, flying something, right? Like, there's a lot of good flying types in this game. Chat out, too. Yep, chat out. I was just trying to think of some with some different typings, you know. Since you're here, you might as well take on every trainer. Yeah, that's what my plan was. Are you lost? Are you enjoying yourself? Zubat? Yep, Zubat too. Poison flying. Actually, I plan on using Zubat um, in my playthrough of Heart Gold Soul Silver. I want to use a Crobat. I think Crobat looks really cool, and I don't often get a chance to use it. So I want to use it in that game. The other option is Noctowl. Noctowl is also pretty good, but... um. I feel like Heart Gold Soul Silver are good games to do Crobat because that's the first game that that was introduced into. Um, originally, you know, the Gold and Silver games. So, I mean, guys, you're enjoying yourself. Yep, I am, little kid. Whatever happens in life, it's better to try and enjoy it as best as one can. Being in the dark here, I came to realize that. It's not that dark, dude. It's really not that dark. I guess it gets darker later on. But there's not too many rooms for this. Eee, that's so bright! Surprise attack. Oh, you know what? I bet the problem is um, with the emulator. Like, it's not emulating the darkness correctly like it should be. Ah, uh, I bet that's why it looks so light in here. Because it is supposed to be dark. Yeah, the emulator has some problems with uh, emulating Pokemon Platinum. Like, visually wise. Because it's technically a 3D game. Yeah, that's why it is. I'm not, like, messing around with, like, any sort of, like, cheat codes or anything. Oh, yeah, Driftbloom has, uh, Aftermath. That was so annoying in, uh, Explorers of Sky. Fighting Driftblooms with, yeah, Aerial Ace. Forget, um, Wing Attack, learn Aerial Ace. Um, that was so annoying in Explorers of Sky because it would, you'd be going through a dungeon, you'd defeat like a drift limb or its evolution and you had a 50 50 chance of it just blowing up in your face that was super annoying i wouldn't worry too much about um having me try and capture pokemon right now um i'll probably because i plan on capturing quite a few from this region specifically after the main game like i want to go back and get Gallade and stuff just because i plan on bringing them forward so it'd be cool to have like a Gallade from the Sinnoh region it'd be cool to have Drifloom from the Sinnoh region plus um not all of them are available in black and white too obviously so probably if i bring some up now then i won't have to go back and grab them later because i plan on getting um finishing the pokedex once i beat uh black and white 2 later on 
Your strength is dazzling. I have to shield my eyes. But yeah, that's why it's bright in here. Is because the emulator isn't very good at... <laughs> uh, like, has some graphical glitches when trying to emulate some of this stuff. Um, let's switch up to Bruce, I guess. Since uh, Void is low. Actually, I don't mind this being bright, to be honest. I was going to beat everybody anyway, and it just helps. What? Were you just dawdling around hoping I'd notice you for a battle? You know you're going to get whooped here, don't you? Ace Trainer Allen. Hmm. Haven't seen a lot of Ace Trainers yet. Shell Bell. Ah, uh, Hypnosis too. Okay, we're gonna have to switch Bruce out, I think. Well, we could just let him do his thing. Let's see, can he get through this? Yay, Bruce got through it, okay. Looks like we'll have to change him out though. Oh wow, <laughs> just like a single HP point, nice. Okay, um, Haunter, yeah, let's switch. Switch out for Trap. I wasn't going to use Trap because, um. I'll only use it up to level 29. Like, once it gets to level 29, I've got to switch it out until we get to the um, gym leader. Because, again, right now, if it gets above level 30, it's going to uh, stop listening to us. I kind of deserved that, didn't I? I gotta stop mouthing off like that. Alright. Let's switch uh, True Rap up the front. And Lemon, too. What does it feel like, taking one step after another into darkness? I don't know. My graphical... My emulator is not properly displaying the darkness look correctly, so... Y'all just look really weird walking around, like, in a lit room with flashlights. Now, oh, well, you're just gonna knock yourself out, aren't you? Go ahead and knock yourself out. I am fine with that. Mistrevious, eh, stay in. Mistrevious. Okay, chatter again. Let's see if Trap can get through this. Maybe not. Yep, nope. And Fleming, you're up. Might have to go back and heal a minute.
You're the kind of person who can keep going forward even into the unknown. No, no, the unknown is something I have to catch later. I think sometimes one has to make these mistakes to learn what is right. Yeah, that's probably true. Never, um, you know, gotta fail before you can... Well, you don't have to fail before you can succeed, but... Failure... Failure is the mother of invention. Isn't that the saying or something? Hearing those sped up songs is sometimes is kind of neat. Okay, so back through the triangle door again. Yeah, I guess it looks a little bit darker than the rest of the game, but like it doesn't look as dark as it should, unfortunately. I think it's not rendering in like a fog effect or something. Okay, here's Fantina. Looks like we went back and saved at the right time. Yes, I would like to save the game. That's fine. Oh, we have to save a lot of data. Okay. Let me grab my water while I do that, because I ran out of unsweetened tea. Personally, I don't like sweet tea. I prefer unsweetened. Although I know some people do like sweet. Southern people. Southern people. Okay. Uh, who should we lead with? Right now we're leading with Trap, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's lead with Trap and Void. Void. Bo void? Oh ho 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 ho! Finally you have arrived! Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, In fin, I will excel. That is why I drift this way. She has to performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I've come to the be gym leader. And, uh, so it is, shall be that you shall challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, non? I realize that is probably a very bad French accent. I honestly did not remember that she was French. That is actually fairly surprising to me. I did not remember that about Fantina. To be honest, um, I don't remember a lot about Fantina. <laughs> like, always when I'm thinking about the gym leader, she kind of gets put by the wayside, unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe it's because we usually skip her the first time around in her town, or because, um, usually you just go in there with, like, a dark type or something, or at least I do, and just sweep her so quickly, but I honestly didn't remember that she was French. Alright, that's Duskull down. Ooh, Duskinor is in this game too. We should get Duskinor. Or at least the items so we can evolve into Duskinor. Sent it in a Haunter. Um, keep battling. Put to sleep and do our best. Nice, Sucker Punch failed because we used a Sass move. Hey, look at Giraffe go. He's doing all right. Like, I was a little, like, iffy on having, um, Giraffe or, like, a Chatta on our team, but all in all, Chatta, um, gets overlooked some, but it's not the worst Pokemon by any means. It's, a uh, signature move is pretty good, and it, um, can sometimes, like, confuse the opponent and stuff, so that's nice. Plus, it has Sing, has some other, it has, it gets Hyper Voice later on, which is a pretty good move. Mimic. Okay, um... Let's see, what does Mimic do again? Last move. The move can be used for the rest of the battle. Ooh, that might be nice. Yeah, let's switch out Mimic for Mirror Move. Because uh, we get to keep whatever move they chose. Like, so we could pick up a nice move um, from a person and use it for the rest of the battle. So if she uses a ghost-type move against Trap, 
we could use that against her a minute. Oh, heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? If, uh, oh, missing miss. Psybeam, no point in copying that. That's a psychic type. Psychic type is not, ooh, look at that. Critical hit, okay. That's still a good amount of damage. Ah, sing missed again. Let's hope for not another critical hit. No. Ah, oh, it kept, it keeps missing. How's that? It's three misses in a row. Four misses in a row. Wow. Well, there goes for rap, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You had a good run. And then a four of your sings missed all in a row. Okay, let's end up Boyd. Intimidate doesn't do much here, but whatever. Um, okay, so... Let's use Return. Oh, shoot! I forgot Ghost-type! Duh! Man, it really seems like using Psybeam. We should throw out somebody with a high special defense, like, um... Amp Lemon or Rotom, maybe, because it, Psybeam wouldn't affect it. And so far, that's all Miss Maggie has used. Aerial Ace did almost half health, though. It's going to heal up again with its Citrus Berry, but... Get, like, in two more quick uh, Aerial Aces. Ooh, but I don't think Boyd can take another Psybeam. And for some reason, Miss Magius House speeds it. Never give up. Never surrender. Uh, that doesn't sound very French. <laughs> Okay, um, let's send out... Go Helpy! Yeah, go Helpy! Confuse Ray. Ah, of course, now you switch to Shadow Ball. And that's gonna be super effective. Oh, wow, Helpy, you are at 5 health, my man. Please get off the Confuse Ray, and then we'll switch out to M. Lemon. All right, good job. We're gonna switch to Emp Lemon um, because I don't think you can win this, unfortunately. Oh, magically, nice. And since we don't have the Steel typing yet, that'll be super effective. Doesn't do too much. Magical Leaf is not a very powerful move, though. Use Bubble Beam. Of course. Please use the bubble beam. Now both of them are confused. Oh my gosh. And it snapped out of confusion and used magical leaf. Okay. Yay! I was half expecting us to go down there, but we did not. You are so fantastically strong. I know now why I've lost or something. I, I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong! You, your Pokémon, so strong! Your power is admirable! I shall honor it with this gym badge. This gym badge. This gym badge. Okay. Fox received the Relic Badge! Yay! Perfect transition! That badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can use make use of this technical machine. That is what I think. That... that TM-65, it contains Shadow Claw. A very startling move it is. It hits... it hits hit turn critical often. Shadow Claw, okay. Three gym badges. But you must not forget this. There are many other trainers. Strong trainers, too. There are many more in Sinnoh. Have patience. You sh must become stronger, one at a time. Let's open the Bat Chase. Yeah. Let me shine it till it polish. Polish it till it shines. You may notice that um the Bat Chase above is the same as the Bat Chase from the lower screen. Took a little work to get it, um, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. 
man, this is so much easier with a stylus than a mouse. Come on. It is fun that you can do that, though, I will say. And also, if you don't do it, after a couple of days, they'll start getting grimier and grimier. It's fun. Okay, let's go heal up, because there is a rival battle on our way out of town. Oops. Nope, not the Pokedex. Okay, so let's switch Helpy up in front. I'm going to go heal, and then we'll do the rival battle. And then, where do we head from there? I think we head right. Uh, we can get sort of part of the way down. Like, if we head down, we can go a little bit that way, but we can't get um too far. We might get to the place where there are unknown today. Um, so I might do that today, or not. I'm not sure how far we'll get looking at guys. So, beat Fantina, then there's the battle with the junior, and then, yep, we head to the right and up. Okay. Yep. Lost tower and everything. Mm. Is it worth clearing the lost tower? No, I don't really think it is. Not right now. I would like to progress my Pokemon. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. He's a professor of Professor Elm. Um, professor Elm is the professor from uh, Gold and Silver. Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Box. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here, right now. And hey, you're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. And he always looks so excited for a battle. Hey, that was a bad choice, buddy. <laughs> Although, Helpy is lower than Staravia. Ooh, no, not his uh, attack. Bye bye. Weasel, nope, we will not switch. I will keep going with the Pokemon I have. Shockwave. Grottle, time to switch, okay. Uh, let's switch over to Boyd. Actually, did she say if um, it ups our level of Pokemon that we can control? She didn't, did she? Huh, that's interesting. It does not change uh, the badge we got, just does not change the level at which our uh, trade Pokemon will listen to us. So we still can't get Boyd, uh, um, not Boyd, um, Chirap up to level 30. Otherwise, it will stop listening to us. That is unfortunate. As far as I can tell, 
because it doesn't say anything about it. Oh yeah? I'll show you something wicked too. So I'll have to keep that in mind. That's a bit unfortunate. Then again, the next one is, um, what's her name? I think it's Maylene, the fighting one, so. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Ponyta, switch over to Amp Lemon, of course. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Ah! I'm going to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Say hey, Box. Remember what I told you before? Make sure all of your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy. But it doesn't work for beans. I guess I gotta grind it out and toughen up the team a bit at a time. Anyway, I'm off to Celestia in town. See ya, Box. You'll be shocked by my growth by the next time we meet. There's a wreck stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what that is. It got me very curious. Uh, that is the thing for a spirit tomb, which we can't really do. Ooh, look, it's evening. So, lights are starting to come out. Actually, by the time we end the stream, the game should be at nighttime mode. Like, um, because I should end right when uh, you can first catch Rotom, actually. So that should be counted by n as night by the game. So, getting into evening time. Playing at different times of the day ain't bad in Pokemon. In fact, it's necessary to catch some Pokemon. <laughs> Next route. Okay. Hey, buddy. What's up? Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. Okay. Let me see how much XP your Pokemon are worth. Oh, he's a Pokemon breeder. No wonder he's wondering how our Pokemon are doing. Badoo, level 20. Uh, let's go with Uproar. Ah, Stun Spore. Battling. Okay, we got a Pichu. I bet all of this Pokemon are going to be uh, baby Pokemon. On Sly. Rock type, so we can use Shockwave here. Ah, can't move. Paralyzed. Rock throw. Yeah, that's just neutral. But critical hit. Okay. Let's see, how's your. Yep, that's what I thought. Special defense is not that great. Eevee, okay. Let's keep battling. Shockwave. Oh no, not my attack. And bye bye. Good stuff! Your Pokemon are in impeccable condition. It's obvious you raise your Pokemon with a lot of love. That's cool. Um, let's see. Fisherman. Mmm, our good rod is really good. Would you agree? Yep. Mmm, we're of identical minds. Mmm, take this good rod. Try fishing wherever there's a body of water. Oh, incidentally, do you need me to explain how to use that fishing rod? Nah, I'm good, thanks. Thanks, though, man. When you're fishing for a Pokemon, the first hurdle is getting a bite. Oh, you're gonna explain anyway. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, we have the good run now, so we can catch V-Best, technically. Um, I will, I think it's down Orberg Gate, like, in that patch of water. So next time we go near there, <clears throat> I will do it then. Or if we don't go back there for a while, I will go back and do it. So... For right now, I want to keep moving, of course, but um, I do have it um, on the itinerary to do at some point, so don't worry about that. Come on, I just want to see if there's some items up here. Hey, Ralt. Oh, that's right, Healthy is still paralyzed. I should uh, cure it. If I have something to cure it with, I probably have a paralyzed deal on me, right? I haven't been spending any money, actually. Probably once we get to... Um, the next big city, where Maylene's gym is, um, we will spend some money because that's where we can, where the department store is, so we can buy TMs and stuff. So, hey, item, I knew it. Great ball, okay. Do some more Pokeballs. balls. Badoo, or no, sorry, blue barrel. Oh, I forgot to heal Helpy again. I gotta remember to do that. Also, I think once we get to um, Maylene City, I keep, I'm blanking on the name of the place. Um, but um, that's also the department store is also where we can use the key to get to the basement, um, the event key that um, we can initiate with a um, with a cheat code because otherwise we couldn't do it. Um, and we can get the key so we can put Helpy in different appliances. So we can have Heat, uh, Rotom, and all that. I'm thinking Heat, Rotom, just for the fire attacks, because we don't have any fire on our team. Um, interestingly enough, in this first game, Rotom is still considered a ghost electric type, no matter what, um, appliance it enters. Only in later games is it considered a ghost blank um whatever type of appliance it's in right so that's just kind of interesting that it wasn't until like past the first game it appeared in that it was considered that so unfortunately it doesn't get the stab but it still does get the coverage of a fire type move so Then again, it doesn't have the uh, uh, weaknesses either, so it stays with the same weaknesses of Ghost and Dark. Unfortunately, there's not an appliance that would help with that, but with either of those, but um, Fire type would be good to have, especially since without uh, Riolu, we don't have any real thing for Steel or um, Ice. Not that they come up too much until after we get Riolu anyway, but... Okay, should I fight this guy? I keep going a yes or no on it. Let's just keep moving. I feel like we'll run to enough trainers that we can't avoid. Let's put Bruce up front for this uh, next battle. And also, so it's going to be a double battle. Yep. We're tough because we battle together. We're going to crunch and munch you all up. Ah, uh, such cute little girls. Okay. What do I need to do a munch and crunch me up? So let's just use Shockwave on whoever is left, and then we will use Earthquake on everybody. Oh, I should have used it on Mime Jr., because Bonsai is weak to ground. Whatever. They'll probably both be dead by the end of this turn. Oh yeah, look at that. But yeah, because um, Helpy has Levitate, if we use Earthquake here, uh, he should not get hit by, um, hit by it. Because he doesn't get hit by ground moves. I made them cry. That was awesome. Are you maybe a Pokemon genius? You're well deserving of respect. Oh, they're not crying anymore. They're just like, we're gonna be super strong trainers like you. 
I just say no. Please cheer for us. Aw, that's cute. Okay, they were crying before, but now they've calmed down and they're like, oh, I, uh, okay, that's nice. Um, Alright, let's see. That's a Pikachu guy. If we're gonna do him, we should just switch over to Bruce in front, because I don't feel like taking on electric types with Helpy. So yeah, let's uh, switch Bruce up front. Plus, technically, I think Helpy is now a higher level than Bruce, yes? No, he is not. He's one level below Bruce. Helpy is still our le lowest level Pokemon. Okay. Hi, hi! I'm a Pokemon! No, you're not. You're a guy. You're a kid dressed up as a Pokemon. Yep. Pokekid Danielle. The last talking Pikachu we ran into wasn't so nice. <laughs> From uh, Pokemon Glace. He is one of the antagonists, actually. Oh, that was a bit of a weird one. Anyway. Here's Brucey. So sad. So bitter. I don't want to be a trainer. I want to be a Pokemon. You are what you are. Or you can just uh, be in that one episode where people got psychically confused so they thought they were Pokemon in the original anime. Please, let me battle with the Pokemon you've raised. Oh, is this another Pokemon breeder? Bum, bum, bum. Yep, it is. Bum, 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 Okay, last time I didn't use, um, Confuse Ray. Like, I haven't been using Confuse Ray enough. Let me confuse this to do so it doesn't hit us with a bunch of status effects like it did last time. And by last time, I mean that other breeder. It hit us with, like, stun and everything. Mega Drain? Okay. Our special defense is fairly strong, so it shouldn't do too much. Yep. And then let's see. Now that that's done, let's use Uproar, because Electric is, uh... Uh, Grass is resistant to Electric. Probably because Grass does not conduct electricity, I guess. Although... Yeah, whatever. I was gonna say, though, like, if lightning hits a tree, it burns, but, you know. Balance-wise, I guess it makes more sense. Um, and, like, it's not like if you run electricity through a plant, I don't think it really does much to the plant. Obviously, getting hit by lightning will do a lot of things to stuff that doesn't conduct electricity and then uproar just keeps going for a few turns so nothing much we can do but it's a pretty good move anyway so okay shockwave later we'll probably replace it with something else but um, for now uproar is fine maybe we'll replace the the um, uproar with whatever fighter type move we get when we change it over to uh, heat Rotom. Keep battling. Mime Jr. Mime Jr. is a lot cuter than Mime. Like, Mr. Mime. I would say hot take, but that's not really a hot take. That's just a fact. Like, even, like, the Pokemon movie, that Pikachu movie, like, acknowledges how creepy Mr. Mime can be. Mostly, though, just because it's based on a clown, and clowns can be kind of creepy. Or at least, like, there's a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff with clowns. Keep battling. That's fine.
They're raised with a lot of care. Aw, oh, that's nice of you to say. Raise a Pokemon with lots of love, and they'll bond closely with you. An Ether. That's nice. Those are useful for the Elite Four and pretty much nothing else. Okay, okay. I know. So, Brooklyn Crumbling Tower made of stone. Seems to be a spot that would be perfect for the odd keystone. Yes. So, we have to meet a bunch of people um, underground and then come back. So. Or, um, I can do that with an save editor. I can make it so that we've met a bunch of people, so that way we can meet Spirit Tomb and catch Spirit Tomb in this game. I will do that post-game stuff, though. Um, that's another thing to do post-game. So, same with, like, the Manaphy stuff and all that. More berries. Berries are good. Uh, do we want to avoid her? No, we won't avoid her. Rotom... Or Helpy might be a little low at this point. Say, honey, where'd you come from? What kind of Pokemon are you with? Um. But even if he does get knocked out, well, even if it does get knocked out, I guess, because technically to have no gender. Um. I don't know, I always think of it as a boy, but whatever. Maybe that's just my bias as a guy. Um, once it got, gets knocked out, then I will change over to somebody else, like uh, Bruce, who needs some more levels. Well, they don't need more levels. It's just whoever's lowest can go up first, I guess, pretty much. Uh, other than, like, if we're fighting, like, some actual foes, then I need to, like, be type advantage-wise, but... Fancy folks like you have fancy Pokemon, too, it seems like. While working on the ranch, I get to raise my Pokemon, too. I'd say it's the best of both worlds. That's nice. I'm not bothering with this. Yep, see you later, Rosalia. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Okay, that's what I thought. You can't get up there. Um, there's no way to get up there with a bike. Even if you're really good at biking, there's no way. So, uh, you have to come... That's a way where you can come down from. Not a way you can go up. You have to have, like, um, surf or something to get over there, if I remember correctly. Like, you come back around that way, or something. I don't know. Basically, you can't get up that way. I, I believe me, I've tried before, like, the first couple times I went through here. I tried for, like, 20 minutes, half an hour to get up that slope. You can't. There's just no way. Oh. I'll go too soon. Okay. While departed Pokemon sleep, this is the Lost Tower. Oh, where did Pokemon sleep? Okay. Ooh! We should cut down that uh, tree a minute. Oh. Yahoo! Hey, Box! I got something cool. I'll show you as a special favor. Huh? What the? What's all this about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh, right. It's because I was at the ruins. The ruins here are cool. You have to check it out. I even found a hidden machine. It was to fog. Anyway, I'll battle you another time. See ya! He's always running around, isn't he? It's a shame, because this game is kind of nice to just go through, kind of, I don't know, lazily, but, like, I don't know, I have a lot of fun just kind of playing through this game and taking it at my own pace. That's why I'm glad I don't have to uh, rush through it too much. Like, obviously, I want to keep moving forward, but I can kind of do some things, you know? Okay, so it's not really worth doing the tower, because all that's in there is ghost types, and um, if you get to the top, use Defog, then they give you an item that makes Pokemon appear less, which is okay, I guess, but it's not worth going through the whole area for. 
right now. Maybe if we need some levels later, I'll come back and clear it out. But for right now, uh, let me heal and... And then let me pull out a B-barrel, teach it some HM moves. Actually, it's about time to get on unknown. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a code to clip in to that uh, so I can get into the room where the question mark and exclamation point unknown are, just because I don't feel like catching all the other unknown first. You're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Huh? You want to battle with me? I will if I can team with Ty. Sue and Ty. These couples are always kind of annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That should do it. Okay. With that animation, you'd think it would hit both of them, but I guess not. Hey, I'll be Guru to level 27. Now it is higher than Bruce. for Sue. Maybe that's why I lost? I'm sorry, Ty. We lost. Ty, I need a hug to make it all better. Sue, even in defeat, you're so beautiful. Man, those guys are kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, boy. They're so lost in each other that they aren't aware of what they're doing. <laughs> Back over here, because I wanted to... Ah! Okay, so let me teach... Some HM moves to... Yeah, cut and rock smash. To B-barrel. Yep. Yep. Tiny move is fine. Rock smash. Yep, you should forget. Uh, let's go with... Mm, let's go with Water Gun. Forget Water Gun. <laughs> and I'm like, forget you and forget her too. Cut. Cut it. Cut it all down. Okay. Steel Wing. Hey, that was worth a detour. That was worth a detour. I might teach that to Boyd. Um, and if you're like, why not Chata? Because Chata is, um, is special attack focused and, um, Void is attack focused. So, like, uh, Void is going to get, um, close combat eventually and it's special is attack. It's attack is much higher than special attack. So, uh, I'm not going to end up teaching it to Void. Um, I actually do not have a cheat set up. To walk through the wall yet i will have to grab one offline a minute the daycare man was saying pokemon grow at different rates actually we have an egg we can pick up so let's pick that up encounters with pokemon can be considered your shared history this here's a pokedex app called pokemon history use it to see your history of pokemon catches oh hey i forgot that you gave that to me but thank you i like collecting all the pokedex apps um there's a lot of useful ones Especially later on. Like, for example, the map app will, um, that we get 
allows us to not only check the map, but it also shows us where the legendary Pokemon are in the uh, game. So that's fun. Like once the main game is over and they start roaming around. The Pokemon History app shows the most recently obtained Pokemon. Obtained Pokemon. I guess it... I guess it's that one's okay. It's not really too useful, to be honest, but it's all right. All right. It's, I'm too little, so I don't know how to battle very good. The nice daycare lady is raiding my Pokemon for me. Every Sunday, I visit the Lost Tower. Okay. Uh, howdy, traveling trainer. There's nothing here. Well, nothing but plenty of time to think, anyway. Oh, right. We have the ruins here. Why not take a tour through that? There used to be nothing near but a road that went straight through. Over time, people and Pokemon just gathered, and the town came to be. Isn't this like the local uh, paper or something? Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? Then you must know Professor Rowan. You're just a Pokemon searching expert we've been looking for. Turtwig, I want you to bring me one. That I cannot do. You must bring it today or we're not going to be able to run our main article. I'll pay you with a heart scale and some Pokeballs for it. This is a good way um, for heart scales because heart scales allow you to remember Pokemon moves um, with your Pokemon. So this is useful, but you have to have the Pokemon pretty much um, when he asks for it. So it's an incentive to keep catching more Pokemon and it's useful after the main game um, as kind of a daily chore to get your heart scale so you can teach a uh, different Pokemon. So probably come and do this later like again post game stuff so a center region's newspaper is tiny but it has many fans the news that newspaper is printed right here cool anyway um what else we got we got the daycare i'm the daycare man we look after the precious pokemon of other trainers if you'd like us to raid your pokemon have a word with my wife i'm the daycare lady we can raise your pokemon for you would you like us to raise your pokemon nope Oh, fine then. Come again. Isn't there somebody who gives us something so we can check on the our Pokemon that are in the daycare? Ah, maybe not yet. Um, and then this person over here gives us the seals, don't they? There's a lot of popping around over here. One of these people do. I wanted to give you some seals, but you don't have a seal case. You should talk to my mom. You can customize Pokeballs by affixing seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seal case? Well, here you go. Next, some seals. Here you go. I'll explain how seals work. You'll need a Pokies on center PC. First, select your PC, then check the ball capsules in the PC menu. Next, choose a capsule and apply seals to it as you wish. When you're done, put the capsule on a Pokeball. You can see the results when you use that Pokemon in battle. Yeah, seals are fun. I'm surprised. And I'm a little disappointed they didn't become a thing in later games, too. The Pokemon in this town's strange... In the town's ruins look like some kind of strange alphabet. I think they're really neat. I'm too small to catch them, though. Instead, I play with seals to try... To try reading those weird letters. If you give me Pokemon that look like letters, I'll give you some seals. And then if you go through, you can get all the letter um, seals that you want. They can be kind of fun. Um, you could always use them to spell out, like... Swear words, I guess, or something. Um... But yeah, they look neat. Um, I think I'll attach some that look neat. Oh gosh, dang it. I went down the wrong path again. That's fine. It's not like we have to... We are going to run into any Pokemon. Um, okay. So there's a PP up. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I should put that on Earthquake, because we're going to have that for the rest of the game, and I'd like to use it more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's just kind of an impulse decision, but I feel like it's a good one. Yeah, Earthquake. Okay. Otherwise, I'll never use it. I know if I hold on to it, I'll never use it. And that's a move I plan on keeping on uh, Bruce the whole game, so... I'm A-OK -okay with that. Um, okay. So... There's Salacian Ruins. So... This music is nice. I do like this music. Okay. 
So... Ooh, they have Dusk Balls here in the Pokemon. I'll have to pick some up. Oh yeah, the Maniac Tunnel. There's a, uh, on another route, there's a guy who digs, like, into this area somehow, or something. Um, so there's Q. Q. Um, first floor, okay. I'm looking at the map, figuring out where I've got to go here. And then I do have to catch an unknown here. Let's see, we're we walking on that, okay. So don't go that way, don't go that way. Okay, so top right. And then Salacion Ruins. That's a dead end, that's a dead end, that's the way we came up. Uh, that guy is a... I'm gonna put Bruce in front. Hey man, I'd heard the hidden machine defog was somewhere in these ruins. It's just that I seem to be lost, what with everything looking the same. Now what? I could use help here. You could just follow me, man. I've got a map. Um, F, okay. And then up and to the right. Ancient ruins rife with the unknown. There has to be a meaning. But significance eludes me, and that's got me cranky. I also looked up unknown to see how good or bad they were. Um, somebody managed to get through, like, the whole, most, like, all of the Pokemon, um, gold and silver, the original ones, with nothing but unknown. Um, mostly it wasn't too interesting, to be honest, because he just had, had to find up all the unknown he wanted with different types of hidden power, you know like because it was random so we had to like find a fire one or and a grass one and all that um any the only way he could tell was by using it on different pokemon right so it took him a while and it really was just a lot of grinding he got pretty much he got through the um johto region and he got through the kanto region but he couldn't beat red with it that team so I mean, but he beat, like, both the Kanto and Chota region using nothing but unknown, so. I mean, we just gotta, like. Oh, levitate, okay. Real talk, I'm probably just gonna edit its IVs. <laughs> so it um, has a fire type hidden move, so it's worth using somewhat. Or I could do a dark type. We don't have a dark type. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. In any case. Bruce is confused. Hey, go Bruce. Just attack indiscriminately, that's fine. Don't hit yourself, but attack indiscriminately. The search must continue. The significance of the ancient ruins. Only Pokemon that look like the letters of the some strange language. Could they be trying to convey a message to us? I guess, but like they're on the walls. The message. I didn't read the message, but I think it just tells you which way to go. Um. Shoot, where are we now? I think that was I. Yeah, that looks right. So I, and then up and to the left. Okay. And then, okay, so, straight left. The other thing is, the other places I'm missing are just, um, dead ends. Some of the dead ends have specific unknown in them, so if you're trying to get all of them, they're there, but otherwise, there's not even any items or anything in there, there's just a stone. Oh, 
I guess literally. Oh, yeah, like that. Let's see. Okay, we. I thought. I thought we were there. Oh. Okay. Gosh dang it. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh. Friends. Friendship? Oh, friendship. All. Lie. Friendship. Hold on. Friendship. All. Lie. Oh, all lives. I thought that was a G. That's a, a V. Right. It looks weird, but it's a V. Um. What is that? Is that... That's the O, so that must be the H. Oh, that's a C. All friendship, all lives touch other... lives to create something something anew and Lives. No. And something. Oh. Okay. Friendship. All lives touch each other. Touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Huh. Interesting. I never actually read the message that were on the things there. Anyway, we found a nugget. Good chunk of money there. Thank you, unknown. Mind plate. Power of defeated giants infused as this plate. Interesting. I think that's the psychic one. Odd incense? Okay. And HM5 defog. Okay. Um, actually. Odd incense. Okay. Psychic, psychic. Okay. We don't have any psychic users. Um. Actually, I think plus and. No, not plus. Um, exclamation point and question mark ones are only available through some other way, actually. Hold on. Yeah, the Maniac Tunnel. Right? How far away is that? Because you can only get there through the Maniac Tunnel, which is on a different route, I thought. Yeah, it is. Right before Veilstone City. Okay. So if it's... It's between Pastoria City and Veilstone City. So I'll just wait until then, because they wanted specifically an exclamation point or a question mark. So. I think I actually have an escape rope. We didn't actually run into any unknown, but I'm just going to use escape rope. That'll be quicker to get out of here. Also, that item at the top is also from the Maniac Cave. You can only get it um, once you come back here that way. Anyway, so continuing on. Route 210. Let's see. More berries, I will take them. Thank you very much. Soft and earthy state. I remember this music. This was a this is some pretty fun music. Okay. Is everybody healed up? 
I don't think we really ran into anything besides that one trainer in uh, there. So I think Bruce is fine. So I think we can continue. Um. Ah, tricky. Okay. Is there items we should be picking up on this route? Should head up that way, and then there's one item there. Okay. You can't ride your bike through the tall grass, by the way. Ah. Hello, little girls. Yay! We're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon. Yay! We're all going to battle. Bum 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 Oh, I forgot to apply the seals. I'll have to do that um, next time we go to a Pokemon Center. Because seals are kind of fun. I like um, doing them. I wonder if we'll be able to get two badges today. Maybe. Because we did start out um, getting one. So it wouldn't be crazy, especially since I'm going three hours, not two, um, if we could get... Well, I don't know. Do you have to do anything in Veilstone City before you can do the um, train the gym? I don't think you'd have to, because I think we clear out Team Galactic out of there later, not the first time through. Um, I also think that, um, if I remember correctly, that there is the uh, casino there. We tried really hard together, but we lost anyway. We tried really hard together, but we couldn't really win anyway. Our mommy is a twin, too. Huh. When mommy and auntie and me and Terry get together, it's really confusing and fun. <laughs> nice. Ah. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. Another breeder. <clears throat> Another Pokemon breeder. Yep. Does a liquid have fur? Genuine question. I don't think a liquid has fur. Elikid? Elik elik elikid? 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 Not sure. Either way, I don't think it has fur. However you pronounce its name, I don't believe it has fur. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it does not. A peony? Keep battling. Oh, copycat, that's not good. I mean, it does a fixed amount of damage, but that's still like half of Bruce's health. Hey, look at that XP. Thank you, Hapini. Hey, hey, did you take a good look? I'm not sure either of those have fur. I guess they do. The Veilstone department store is pretty impressive. Did you know they used to sell polyphons? That's handy. Um, but I will probably not be using it too much. Super Repel! I'd rather make the polyphons myself if I can. I can usually create better ones than they can. Oh, that's right. There's this uh, cafe here. Battle cafe or something, I think it's called. Because you can battle everybody in there. Welcome. This place is my pride and joy. Yep, Battle Cafe. You can battle everybody in here. Hey, waitress outfits.
Uh, forget takedown. Yeah. I take losses with an unusually big smile. I didn't read. I didn't see the rest of it. After a match, you should have some moo moo milk to quench your thirst. Just chug it right down. Glug glug. How are you doing? What you having? Of course, all we ever have is moo moo milk. Moo Moo Milk, 500 a bottle. Would you like to add some to your traveling supplies? One dozen. Got you. Get your Moo Moo Milk by the dozen. That's, of course, 12 to a dozen. Moo Moo Milk is great. Heals 100 HP. Fairly cheap. It, uh, if I remember correctly, it is cheaper than Super Potions, and it does more. It does not do the most, but it does more. So I will buy a bunch of them right here. Plus, it's Moo Moo Milk, right? There we go. We should be set on healing items for a little while. Not that I can heal in battle, of course, but... Howdy, Traveler! Some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle. Do what you will with them. I don't mind. Youngster, you've seen the Psyduck out of that side? Psyduck are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I'm a collector and I love honey. Are these guys here just because of that uh, made like server outfit? I bet they are. Can't fool me. I know why you're here. Because they're both collectors. So, they're both like, yeah, okay. What have you done to my Pokemon? It took me forever to catch it using honey. Yeah, I imagine it did. You happy? You glad you caught it now? I went through a lot of bother to catch my Pokemon, but since I've not raised it, it's as weak as when I caught it. Yeah. We were having a heated discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do. Uh-huh. Heracross. Also another Pokemon that's rare from a tree. Although his is rare. The, uh... Pre-evolution of Snorlax. Munchlax. Munchlax is much rarer. Honestly, I don't know why it's so rare. I mean, Snorlax is okay. But much like itself is not great? Question mark? I don't know. It seems a bit of a weird thing to make that specific Pokemon really hard to get. Especially like when in the previous games they just threw Snorlax in your way and let you catch it. Knowledge isn't everything, you know. I'm more knowledgeable than anyone else. I have a rare Pokemon, but I'm weak at battling. That's a Pokemon collector for you. Ah, most Pokemon collectors know what they're doing. Hey, rain. Rain, rain. Oh my gosh, it rained so much at work today. It rained for like three hours at work. It was so bad. I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot victory from you. Not likely, I think. I think you're going to strike it out on this treasure hunt, my dude. Okay, Bronzor probably has Levitate. So I'm going to go with Dragon Rage instead of... I guess um, if I really need to, I can have Bruce change the weather to a sandstorm. do 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 Okay, but seriously, um, I can have him change it if I need to. Plus, he gains, um, I think he has, like, sand cloak or something, so he gets faster in a sandstorm, so. It's situationally useful.
shell done. That's fine. I'll just use a uh, earthquake on it. Shell done. On. One's after treasures, maybe the underground is a better choice. That's true. It really is. Max Ether, that's nice. Hey, at least the raid's working, right? Rather than the darkness, at least the raid's working. Do unto others as they do unto you. Yep, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do ever do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. Hey, we got TM66, payback. As I say, said, payback is harsh. Use it after the foe, and its power gets doubled. Okay. Oh, we don't have B-Barrel on us, so we can't get to some of the items. I should have brought it along with us, since we have an open slot right now. Ah, that's whatever. We can come back, I guess, if we need one of the items. Actually, how good are the items? Um, TM, Roost, okay. Fist play. HP up, Shockwave, that's pretty good. Yeah, some good TMs. We might uh, come back for the, some of that stuff later. Anyway, let's use Slash. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't have to go through the whole um, Cheesing the game, like to get the question mark and exclamation unknown. You just have to get over to the rune maniac. Although it's going to be a pain to level up later, I'll probably end up putting um, the XP share on it for a little while. Pokemon tracks are okay. I already know that. Whoa, that was a bit of a chug. Chug a chug. Just making sure I'm not missing items that I can actually get to. Where are we? We are there. Okay, so we have to... There's an item here, and then up is the way we want to go if we want to continue on the route. Hey, look at tongue Doesn't it get an evolution in this game, too? Licky Licky or something, if it learns Ancient Power or something like that. That's what I remember, anyway. Ah. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me that much stronger. I guess. I think it's more of what you're doing to sweat than actually sweating that makes you stronger. I have a friend from high school who can attest to that. He was a very sweaty boy. It wasn't his fault, really. It was just kind of a condition, but he was a very sweaty boy.
Maybe I should title more my streams more inventively. Usually I just title them based on which number it is in the series, but I guess if people are browsing number three or number four or whatever doesn't sound too interesting. And again, I'm not quite sure what I would title them all the time, but I'm sure I could think of something. Anyway, just musings, I guess. I finally got the uh, links, uh, yes, fear tracks figured out for tomorrow. I uh, finished the layout this morning because uh, I made one the other day and I was like, eh, that doesn't look good. Like it was just, it had too much going on in the background. So I simplified it, um, made it all like one dark green color and just throw some characters on it. Looks better. That's not my best one, but it looks better. I should be layered just by the amount of sweat I shed. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll start Link to our Spirit Track. Yep. It's time for another workout. The more I sweat, the tougher I get. It, it would suck to work out in the rain. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, there's an item up there. Might as well go and grab it. Might be a TM, so. No, it's HP up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Maybe we should give that to Emp Lemon. Uh, Emp Lemon is gonna be very tanky. Just saying. Ooh, level 22. This would be a good spot to train, um, Helpy later, if there's Merrells and stuff. Because water types. Try. Yeah. Nobody's really here live, so... Should I cut it before I get the second gym badge for this stream? I wanted to go three hours a day, but nobody can really... Doesn't look like anybody was able to make it. Um... I will get to Veilstone City, and then I won't get the badge till tomorrow. Because that way I can start off the stream getting another badge, and I still have a endpoint for this stream. Um, rather do that when more people are around. And if people can't make it, I completely understand because this is not the usual time I stream. Ooh, hey, look, the day time of day just changed, so it's evening, I think. Because before it was like afternoon, now it's like evening because it's uh, darker. I'll take on anyone. It can only make me stronger. I'm taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first... Actually, come to think of it, uh, since Helpy is a ghost electric type, should be fairly helpful against fighting types. Um, I would like to get it ominous wind on it, though. Oh, Gligar and Roselia. So, Earthquake won't do anything to Gligar. Um, shoot, Electric won't do anything to Gligar either. What if I use Uproar? Let's confuse Gligar. Yes. Let's confuse Gligar and use Dragon Rage on Roselia. Um, because I don't want Roselia using grass type moves against uh, Bruce. And Confuse Ray should keep Gligar incapacitated until I can get around to attacking it. Or not. Please, not Rotom. Dang it, that's a dark type move. So super effective, yep. Ooh, that was about half. That was a critical hit though, so. Oh, Toxic Spice, yeah, now we can't really switch in without getting poisoned, which is not good. Um, near the end of the route though, actually, so. Even if we do, we can heal up in the town once we get there. I'm gonna confuse Roselia. Gonna Dragon Rage and take out. Oh no, I shouldn't, dang it, I shouldn't have Confused Raid and knocked it out in this turn. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. That was a waste of a uh, turn for Helpy. Come on, hit yourself. Yep, okay, that's fine. Now, who are you going to send out next? And then I got to get rid of Gligar next because he can't be hit by Earthquake. Ralts? Okay. So, an Earthquake will definitely take out Ralts. Um, let me use... Let me use double team. Why not? On Helpy. Because I don't think Helpy really has anything that will do... I don't know if Uproar will randomly attack 
Bruce as well, so I don't want to risk it. Because um, it just says the target as healthy when I do uproar, probably because it um, attacks like every turn. Okay, so Glagar hurt itself, a slash, and uh, Ralce is double teaming. Okay. I'm just going to have healthy double team two again. And then I'll have slash again. Pretty much the same as last turn. Same thing. See what Ralce does here. It might just double team again. To be H. To be honest. Um, I don't know how the... Ah, shoot. It didn't quite do it. Knock yourself out? Nope. Just almost. Special attack, special defense. Okay. That won't be useful against Earthquake, though. Double team, one more time, why not? After this, Helpy will definitely not be hit too much, which is nice. So that's their Gligar down, and then hopefully the rest of their team is, has no flying types or anything that avoid Earthquake and we can just Earthquake and stuff the rest of the team. Um, I'll Earthquake and do a Shockwave on Ralts because it, Earthquake might miss at this rate, so should probably focus fire on Ralts till it gets hit. Dang it! They have a Drift Limb. Okay, never mind. We'll Shockwave the Drift Limb. Shockwave, Drift Limb. Uh, we'll just do an Earthquake. Actually, it might knock out uh, Drift Limb here. And then they'll have be forced to send on another Pokemon. It might. Is that going to be a one-hit KO? Nope. Almost. So it's going to miss. Okay, so it did hit Ralts. Nice. So it did do that at least. That should one hit KO Ralts. Yeah. Which is good because um, it was using the base of Miss and all that. So. Ominous Wind. Oh, nice. It missed. Okay. Lick a tongue. Okay. So let's knock out. Um, Drift limb with another shockwave, and we were just going to use slash on Lickitung here. Ooh, you know what? We have Dragon Claw. We should teach that to Bruce. We picked that up at some point, I think. I thought, I think we did. We should be teaching that to Bruce instead of um, Dragon Rage, because Dragon Rage is starting to become less and less useful the more we go on. And, uh, Dragon Claw is a good physical move. I think actually um, Bruce would learn it eventually. It's a move that Bruce, I think, would learn eventually, but it's good. These are some fairly tough opponents. Like, not gonna lie, they're doing alright by themselves. Um, bugger off. Um, darn mobile games. I'm busy. Not as our lane. Uh, different game. Seven deadly sins. Not sure if I'm gonna keep playing it. Probably not. Just because I don't want to have to keep up with the AP, and I don't want to play the game if I can't keep up with the AP. Hey, both of them leveled up. Nice. Bruce is level 30. Healthy is 28. Um, I wonder what level Bruce is going to evolve at. I think it's in the 40s. I could be wrong. We're getting kind of up there, aren't we? The levels, though, for everybody. Um... Yes, level 48. Okay, so it's still going to be a bit. Obviously, level 36 for Amp Lemon. Um, ooh, Star Ravi is going to evolve into Star Raptor at level 34. That is pretty close. Who else do we have? We have Chatta. Q doesn't evolve. And I think that's it. Let's see. We've got Bruce, Chatta, um, Helpy, Amp Lemon. Bruce, Helpy, Amp Lemon. Boyd. Boyd. So yes, so Boyd will evolve fairly soon. Level 34. Okay. You won and I lost. But the both of us gained something from this. My confidence is crushed. Well, that was a good battle. I, that was a good battle, you guys. Legitimately, that was one of the most, like... Yeah, it was kind of hard, but felt good battles I've had in a while with an NPC. I think about Pokemon all day long. I was confident, you know? 
In a Pokemon battle, it doesn't matter how old or young you are. Your gender doesn't matter either. Nothing like that means anything. I guess not. Really, it just comes down to Pokemon, right? Wiki Berry. <laughs> to the wiki! Mago Berry. Sounds like mango. Doesn't look like a mango. I wonder if these berries are based off, like, Japanese berries or something. I wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there was some Pokemon in the way. Who knows why they're there, but they're not budging. Veilstone City. Welcome to the big city. Alright, um... There's nobody really watching right now, now. But, I'm gonna call the stream here, precisely because there's nobody watching right now, now. Um, we will get... I will get the cheat code so we can activate Rotom's event so we can get the key, so we can use all the different forms of Rotom. Um, I might do some playing of the... Uh, I might do some playing of the um, slots off stream, just in case there's if there's any items that I really want from there or any like TMs or anything. Um, I might do some shopping off stream just because that's not too interesting. Other than that, um, not gonna do anything else off stream. Not gonna grind or anything too much. Well, might grind. I don't know. I want to use Rotom, especially because he'll get his new forms. How high is Maylene? Yeah, Maylene is... Okay, so our highest is Lucario at level 32. How are we doing? Everybody is almost level 30, I feel like. So if we go in with, like, level 30s, 32s, that should be fine. So maybe it'll grind a little bit. Get Chirap and... Well, uh, Chirap needs to say where it is, because if it gets up to level 30, it that's the max it'll listen to us. So we'll use it a little bit before, because we still have to clear out all the guys before it. So maybe I'll get Helping and Void up to level 30, and then we'll go in like that. So just go more levels. Whatever. Okay. Thank you so much for watching on the playback, those of you who are. Um, I hope you guys have a good afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you guys are. Um, I hope you have a good one, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow, where we will not be playing Pokemon Platinum, actually. Now that I think about it, we will be playing... Uh, we will be playing Spirit Tracks, and then we will start Pokemon again Monday. So, thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>